Global Tech Manpower Institute Incorporated. Visions. Manpower Development for Global Competitiveness. Mission. Global Tech Manpower Institute Incorporated is an ultimate skills training development institute aiming for professionalism of the skilled workers and empowerment of Filipino workforce at pace with changing technology and increasing awareness of industrial safety consciousness and espousing concern for environmental protection. Global Tech Manpower Institute G.T.M.I. was established in T2014. The strategic plan was developed based on the current program and thrust of Technical Educations and Skills Development Authority or TESTA to develop a skills training regulation anchored on vocational and technical education based on the needs of industries and world standard as provided by RAW 7796 that the state shall encourage active participation of various concerned sectors, particularly private enterprises being direct participants in and immediate beneficiaries of a trained and skilled workforce, in providing technical education and skills development opportunities. The skills-driven purpose is geared towards on meeting the changing demands of employment that after completing the course they can be employable. GTMI covers the broadest range of discipline areas, both instructional and operational module. This a complete competencies for Shiley Metal ARC Welding NC1, basic, common and core competencies. First understand the concept of T-Raining Delivery. The delivery of training should adhere to the design of the curriculum. Delivery should be guided by the 10 basic principles of competency-based VET. 1. The training is based on curriculum developed from the competency standards. 2. Learning is modular in its structure. 3. Training delivery is individualized and self-paced. 4. Training is based on work that must be performed. 5. Training materials are directly related to the competency standards and the curriculum modules. 6. Assessment is based in the collection of evidence of the performance of work to the industry required standard. 7. Training is based both on and off the job components. 8. Allows for recognition of prior learning, RPL, or current competencies. 9. Training allows for multiple entry and exit, and 10. Approved training programs are nationally accredited. A. The competency-based VET system recognizes various types of delivery modes both on and off the job as long as the learning is driven by the competency standards specified by the industry. The following training modalities may be adopted when designing training programs. 11. The dualized mode of training delivery is preferred and recommended. Thus programs would contain both in school and in industry training or field work components. Details can be referred to the dual training system, DTS. Implementing Rules and Regulations 12. Modular, self-paced learning is a competency-based training modality wherein the trainee is allowed to progress at his own pace. The trainer just facilitates the training delivery. 13. Peer Teaching, Mentoring is a training modality wherein fast learners are given the opportunity to assist the slow learners. 14. Supervised industry training or on-the-job training is an approach in training designed to enhance the knowledge and skills of the trainee through actual experience in the workplace to acquire specific competencies prescribed in the training regulations. 15. Distance learning is a formal education process in which majority of the instruction occurs when the students and instructor are not in the same place. Distance learning may employ correspondence study audio, video or computer technologies. Second trainee entry requirements. Trainees or students wishing to gain entry into this course should possess the following requirements. Can communicate either oral and written. Physically and mentally fit. With good moral character. Can perform basic mathematical computation. Third the qualification of the learning facilitator. 
Qualifications for Small Welder Shielded Metal ARC Welding, NCI Trainer Qualification, TQI Must be a holder of small NC2 Must have undergone training on training methodology I, trademark I Must be physically and mentally fit Must have at least two years job, industry experience must be a civil service eligible, for government position or appropriate professional license issued by the Professional Regulatory Commission. Reference, Tested Board Resolution No. 2403. Fourth the institutional assessment prior to taking the national assessment the learners must be qualified to take the assessment. All scholars of the Technical Education and Skills Development Authority TESTA are required to ask the training provider the cost of the assessment as provided in the scholarship vouchers. Institutional assessment is to be undertaken by trainees to determine the achievement of units of competency. A certificate of achievement is issued for each unit of competency. National Assessment and Certification Arrangements 1. To attain the national qualification of welding NCI, SMAW, the candidate must demonstrate competence in all the units of competency listed in Section 1. Successful candidates shall be awarded a national certificate signed by the tested Director General. 2. Assessment shall focus on the core unit of competency, weld carbon steel plates using small. The basic and common units shall be integrated or assessed concurrently with the core units. 3. The following are qualified to apply for assessment and certification. a. Graduates of formal, non-formal and informal including enterprise. Based training programs. b. Experienced workers, wage employed or self-employed. C. The guidelines on assessment and certification are discussed in detail in the Procedures Manual on Assessment and Certification and guidelines on the implementation of the Philippine VET Qualification and Certification System, TOX. This the course or the training regulation that the scholars must undertake. Training Regulations for Shielded Metal ARC Welding, SMAW, I. Section 1 Shielded Metal ARC Welding, SMAW, I. The Welding NCI, SMAW, qualification consists of competencies that a person must achieve to weld carbon steel plates components as specified by layout, blueprints, diagrams, work order, welding procedure or oral instructions using small welding equipment. This qualification conforms with AWSD 1.1 Structural Welding Code, ASM 9 Boiler and Pressure Vessel Code, API 1104 Code for Gas and Oil Pipeline Facilities, and ISO 9606 One Qualification of Welders for Steel. The units of competency comprising this qualification include the following Basic Competencies 28 Hours Receive and respond to workplace communication. Work with others. Demonstrate work values. Practice basic housekeeping procedures. Common competencies 56 hours. Apply safety practices. Interpret drawings and sketches. Perform industry calculations. Contribute to quality system. Use hand tools. Prepare weld materials. Set up welding equipment. Fit up weld materials. Repair welds. Core competency 184 hours. Weld carbon steel plates using small. A person who has achieved this qualification is competent to be. Plate welder, SMAW, have to complete a total of 268 hours.